Jessica Fletcher, and today we're going to be talking about cells, the basic unit of all life form. To begin, let's talk about the difference between prokaryotes and eukaryotes. Prokaryotes are much less complex than eukaryotes. They do not have a nucleus, and they don't have membrane-bound organelles. Eukaryotes are much more complex. They have a nucleus inside a nuclear membrane where genetic info is stored, and they also have lots of organelles that serve different functions. This is an example of a complex eukaryote known as the animal cell. There are two types of cells, the plant cell and the animal cell. Beyond size, there are a few structural differences that lie within the plant cell, known as chloroplast, the cell wall, and vacuoles. Both cells are held together by a cell membrane, but the plant cell has an additional cell wall for extra support and protection. One similarity among the plant and animal cell is the mitochondria. This is the powerhouse of the cell and it allows the cell to gain energy to do the work that all the organelles need to do. One unique feature about a plant cell is that they have chloroplast. Chloroplast allows them to do photosynthesis. Photosynthesis allows the plant cell to harness their own energy, which is essentially like making their own food. Animal cells are not capable of this process. Now that we've discussed some of the similarities and differences among the plant and animal cell, let's dig deeper into the organelles that lie within the animal cell. The cell is like a sphere. The outside is the cell membrane, and inside there is a jelly-like substance known as the cytoplasm. The cytoplasm is a fluid that allows the cell to have structure. It also supports the functions between the organelles. In the middle, you see the nucleus. It has its own nuclear membrane, and in the center of the nucleus is the nucleolus. The <coughs> nucleus contains DNA that's responsible for controlling the entire function of the cell. The nuclear membrane is like an envelope that protects the DNA from the rest of the cell. The nucleolus is an organelle within the nucleus that holds ribosomal RNA. Moving on to ribosomes, they are found within the cytoplasm, within the nuclear membrane, and on the rough endoplasmic reticulum. Ribosomes are RNA-rich cytoplasmic granules that allow sites for protein synthesis. Protein synthesis allows the cell to do any of the functions it needs. The endoplasmic reticulum is covered with ribosomes that give it a rough surface. It transports materials through the cell and produces protein. The smooth ER is a portion of the endoplasmic reticulum that does not have ribosomes on it, giving it a smooth surface. The smooth ER contains enzymes that are essential for detoxifying the cell. It also contains cell membrane lipids and proteins. The Golgi apparatus contains membranes that surround the lysosomes. They also produce membrane-bound vesicles that allow export from the cell. Speaking of lysosomes, they are the cell vesicles that are found within the cytoplasm. These lysosomes are surrounded by a membrane and they contain digestive enzymes. This is where the digestion of the cell takes place. Last but not least is the vacuole. This is found in both plant and animal cells and it's essentially the garbage can. Vacuoles fill with food being digested and material that is on its way out of the cell. Here is an up-close look of the animal cell that we studied today. You can see all of the organelles that we talked about. The vacuole, the cytoplasm, the Golgi apparatus, the cell membrane, the nuclear membrane, the nucleus, the nucleolus, the lysosomes, the mitochondria, and the smooth and rough ER. Thank you for going on the journey with me to celebrate the basic unit of life. Right,